In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss standard error of the estimate. The standard error of the estimate is when I take the actual values and I make a regression line and I calculate estimated values. These are my estimated values. Then I compare my estimated values to my actual values. Estimated values are the brown, and the green are the actual values. In essence, I'm going to calculate the distance between the estimated and the actual values. And the distance are the errors, all well, those errors here. And remember, we're trying to minimize the errors, or that distance between the actual and estimated. The green column is the actual value and the brown column is the estimated value. The standard error of the estimate, the formula, is the estimated value minus the actual value squared, add all those up, divided by n minus 2, and n is the number of observations. Then take the square root of all this. It appears more daunting than it is, but let me walk you through it. So I take the estimated value minus the y value, estimated minus the actual. So the first one's 2.8 minus 2. That 2.8 minus 2, which is 0.8. Then I take 3.4 minus 4, which is negative 0.6. Then 4 minus 5, which is negative 1. And 4.6 minus 4, which is 0.6. And 5.2 minus 5, which is 0.2. Then I take this column, and I'm going to square all the values. 0.8 squared is 0.64. Negative 0.6 squared is 0.36. Negative 1 squared is 1 and 0.6 squared is 0 0.36. 0 0.2 squared is 0 0.04. And now I'm going to add up this entire column. And this adds up to 2.4. So I put that down in my equation. That's the numerator. Divided by n minus 2. There's five observations, so n is five, so five minus two. I take the square root of all this, which is equal to the square root of 2.4 divided by three, which is equal to 0.8, the square root of 0.8, which is equal to 0.89. So the standard error of the estimate is equal to 0.89. Remember the standard error of the estimate compares the estimated to the actual values. And r squared is comparing the distance between the actual values to the mean with the estimated values to the mean, or the distance of the estimated values to the mean. Very similar, but different. This is part of a larger playlist, and I'd encourage you to watch all the videos.